everybody, what is going on? This is Orvi3 and WO bringing you another Call of Duty gameplay, and it has been forever, it seems like, since I've made a Call of Duty commentary. Um, I'm sorry about that, I just had a lot of stuff going on. I just passed my personal trainer certification test. I had a course, it was an online course that I had to go at my own pace. Um, you get a month to do it, I finished it in a week, uh, so that's why I've been gone. I've been just super into that, uh, so I've been just super deep into that. That's what she said. And then I had to go take an exam. Uh, it, was like, it was like a freaking Fort Knox place where I had to go in and like get my ID checked 10 times and they scanned my veins. It was weird uh, to get my certification. So I finally finished all that. So I should, barring any setbacks, uh, be on a more normal schedule now anyways. You got the Bioshock stuff going up. Should be some more Call of Duty stuff coming very, very soon. But I had an awesome question that somebody left me on a video it is i already have a life is the guy's uh youtube name he's been he's been subbed to me for a while i'm pretty sure unless something has happened um so anyways he had a question it said hey orby i have a question hey there you go <laughs> and it is how do you find out who you are or who you want to be i'm a sophomore in high school and i feel like i'm struggling to develop to develop a self-identity and i am just confused this is a an excellent question first of all and something that I feel like I can really help with because Be advised, hostile, you, you, you sound exactly like I was when I was in high school. I had this, I mean, the exact same words came out of my mouth pretty much. Um, and what's going to get weird about it is I really can't answer it for you. But I'm going to answer it anyways, which doesn't make any sense. But anyways, listen to me anyways. <laughs> I'm going to see how many times that I can say anyways in a very short amount of time. No, um... It's, it's different for every person, is what I mean. So there's I can't give you one set answer that's going to open your eyes and tell you exactly what's going to happen here. What I can say is, don't freak out. If you freak out, you're just going to start pressing, and then you're going to just take the first idea that somebody else gives you, and you're not going to be happy with your, your choice or your life or whatever. Um, also, let me say that if you do make the wrong choice... That's not such a bad deal. Uh, you kind of get ingrained with this thought through school and, and just in TV and the way things are that you pick something in high school, that's what you do, and that's all you ever do. And it, that's kind of what I thought. So I was like super freaked out that if I picked the wrong thing, I was going to be doing the wrong job for my entire life and would have no choice. And that's just not the way it is. And one of the greatest examples I can give you of how this isn't true, the way that it works. Is stinking Woody's gamer tag. Uh, I mean, he went through college, got a super. What, I think he has like a master's or something in computers, whatever it is. Um, was working for a huge company, great job, but he didn't like it after a while. So what did he do? He went and did something 100 and I mean a million times different from what he was doing, and loves it. And it's something that he cares about and has fun doing. Uh, and I know I mention him a lot, but it's just kind of a cool story if you really think about it. The guy was doing a, uh, it was a nice job, but it was a normal job. Working, you know, on, I think it was computer tech stuff for Cigna or something like that. That's a normal job. He said, I'm tired of doing this. And then started his job with stinking video games. So, don't feel bad if you pick something and you get into it and you're like, wow, this really isn't for me. It's not the end of the world. It really isn't. It's not that big of a deal. Um, you can switch stuff all the time, no matter how old you are. It's just a matter of wanting to do it bad enough. Now, as far as trying to figure out what you want to do, the absolute best way that I can tell you is to try everything. Um, I was horrible. Again, the same thing. I thought I had to pick one thing, do it, and that's all I could do. And that's just not who I am. I like to do tons of stuff. I like, just like with this channel. If all I did was post Call of Duty tip videos and advice with Orby, this channel would probably be three times as big as it is right now. But that's just, that gets boring to me for a while. So I like, I love doing Let's Plays. I love playing games all different types. I like Bioshock, Skyrim, Minecraft. Yeah, I like playing a bunch of different stuff. And it really, it slows my channel down, but it's fun for me and I love it. So that's what keeps me going a lot of the times. So, um, but in school anyways, I was, I was the same way. I thought I had to only do one thing. So I said, you know, all right, I picked in sophomore. I said, I'm going to be a basketball coach. And that's all I did. And I went through 
and first I thought I was going to have to teach history, so I took a ton of history classes in college. I almost have a history degree. Uh, I said, this is just awful. This is not what I want to do. So then I went and I did physical education for a while. And I went through that said, this is just, I, I pretty much, I've got a minor in physical education. So I almost got that. Uh, and I said, this is just ridiculous. I really don't want to do this. So I swapped again and now I'm on personal trainer track. And, uh, so I got my, ended up getting my major in, um, recreation with a minor in health and physical education. So I'm probably going to end up going back to school for even more stuff. But, uh, as far as finding out what you want to do, try the things. Um, there's probably at least some type of job like things that you're interested in right now. So give you an idea, say you like golf. There's probably a golf course somewhere around your house, not, not house, but around where you live. Go there, hang out if they'll let you hang out. If they won't, then, you know, maybe get a part-time job there. See what you like about it. See what you don't like about it. Or just go stinking play golf or whatever, you know. Uh, the people that you meet are going to be much more important when it comes to the job stuff than a lot of the things that you'll learn in school. So making good contacts and making a good first impression are a big deal. Now, like I was saying, so, so you say you do that. You go, you hang out at this golf course for three months and say, you know what, this is, this is okay, but it, I don't really see myself doing this long term then scrap it, you know, go, you can still hang out there or whatever, but try something new. Say, okay, well now I think I want to be a graphic designer. Okay. Take a couple classes about graphic design or start looking into some tutorials online and doing stuff, uh, with graphic design in your spare time and see if you like that. And if, you know, if that gets boring and tedious, then find something else. Um, all jobs at some point, no matter what they are, even if it's, even if it's YouTube, even if it's playing video games for money, get tedious after a while so you have to kind of find your line between that and between man i really hate this <laughs> um everything when it becomes a job is going to get tedious so but as far as finding out who you are try lots of things ask lots of questions and and take some time a lot of what i was doing in high school in class i was thinking what do i want to do what do i want to do i never sat down and did nothing but think about, man, what do I want to do? And asked myself questions. You know, where do I want to be? How much do I want to make? What's my goal in life? I never sat down and just had, I don't want to say quiet time, but <laughs> but uh, I never had like that little separate time where that's all I focused on. So try that as well. And again, I don't like to push my, you know, beliefs on everybody, but really helped me a lot was praying about it. That just that opened up my eyes very quickly on a lot of different things and it has not just in the job hunt or my self identity, whatever, but just for everything. That's always helped me. That is a big one for me, but if it's not your deal, I understand. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's mostly it. The main thing that I would say, and I kind of already hit on is just don't limit yourself, especially right now when you're in high school at this point in time, you have more time to try things than ever. Uh, you don't really... It's not that you don't have responsibilities, but you don't... Uh, you don't have... I don't know how to explain it, really. It's not that if you, do, it's not that if you screw up, it's not going to hurt you, but it doesn't affect you the same way as if you screw up when you have house payments and electricity payments and you know all these other things so if you pick something and it goes haywire on you now while you're in high school you're really pretty safe as far as it going you know going wrong so don't worry um, and and trust me I was I was pretty much I was already technically a senior in college before I decided I wanted to be a um, a personal trainer and who knows three years from now I may not even be doing this anymore so it just that's it's really tough like I said I can't really answer it for you because I can't tell you what it's gonna be for every person everybody is different everybody needs something different and it'll you'll figure it out on your own in a different way probably but uh, I think that the uh, the advice I'm giving you here will probably help I wish I had heard it when I was your age I uh, did not get much help in that aspect when I was your age. It was basically, I would ask questions of people and they would just be like, oh, you know, just whatever. And I wish, I really wish that I had had an advisor or uh, just somebody to, uh, to let me know that it was okay to try a bunch of different stuff and figure out what I want to do and that I didn't have to just decide without ever trying it. 
So um, if you have kind of an idea of something you like and care about, try it out. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.